Hey everyone, and welcome back to CTF Cookbook. This is integer overflow. So an integer overflow occurs because they have a maximum value. And so at some point, if you keep adding or incrementing to an integer type, eventually it'll wrap around and it'll become zero again, or a negative number, depending on if it's signed or unsigned. And so using or abusing this behavior, we can get some uh, interesting side effects that you know make fun challenges for solving for flags. Um, so here I have an example program. Um, this is the a user email sweepstake program. And so the idea is uh, you're gonna enter your email and if you're the first person to enter this uh, submission form, you get the flag. Um, but the program is evil, the count starts at five. And so we only get the flag if we are the first person, but uh, like I said, the script author is evil and it starts at five, so basically there's no way for us to get the flag. So what's gonna happen is uh, it's gonna enter a infinite loop. It's gonna ask for our email. It's going to read the email. And again, it's gonna see if you are the first user. If you are, um, it'll print out the flag for you. But if you're not, um, it'll say, sorry, you're not the first user, uh, there's no flag. And again, you know, at first glance, this should be impossible because count is starting at greater than zero and it should never equal zero again. But like I said, by abusing integer overflows, uh, characters are only one byte long. And so that means they are eight bits long, which means that they can store a maximum of two to the power of eight um, values. And so that's 256 values from zero to 255. And so if we keep incrementing this, uh, every single time it runs, uh, it just gets incremented by one. Eventually it'll go from 255 all the way back to zero uh, and we'll be the first user. Um, so there's a little salt script. Um, very simple process. We're going to import Pwn. We're going to start the process. Uh, while it's true, we're going to receive until it asks for our email. Uh, then it's going to send, we're going to send a fake email. We'll receive the line. We'll print out the line we get, which will just show us the counter. Uh, and eventually the line should say congrats. And once we, it says congrats, we know we've won and we'll print it out. Um, to actually run this, uh, we can run the original challenge first. You know, just welcome to the sweepstake. We can say fake at fake.com. And it says, sorry, you're not the first user. The current count is five, no flag for you. And you know, you can keep going and the count will just go up and up. Uh, we don't want to do that a million times. So obviously we wrote that solve script. So we'll do Python three, solve.py. And uh, we can see it just ran, you know, 250-ish times. And the count is 252, 53, 54, 55. And then right after 55, the count wraps around. We have that integer overflow and the count goes back to zero. And now that the count is back to zero, it says congrats and we get the flag. So a uh, very useful technique. You can also wrap below. So um, you can go from count zero and if you subtract one, it'll go to 255. There's one other little uh, detail. Um, integers can either be signed or unsigned. And so an unsigned means that it cannot be negative. Whereas a signed integer can be both negative and possible. You know, it can have a sign in front of it. Um, so if that's the case, uh, after count the maximum value, so you can still only fit in 255 values into a byte. And so it goes from, I think it's minus 127 to 128. So after you, I might have this uh, mixed up, but after it goes 128, uh, you add one and then it goes to roughly minus 127, somewhere in there. Um, but yeah, uh, very useful technique.